What is up YouTube? We out here looking good, heading out in the sunshine, which is back guys, just so you know. I don't think I look good, I know I look good, and if I don't, you got eyesight problems because that was the worst intro I could have ever done. But yeah, I gotta admit guys, I look good, and the weather's good, and I'm feeling good, hopefully you are too. So let's go hit the streets, guys. Oh, baby, I, I wanted you to be. I could easily stay in this park all day. But being Italian, I'm thinking about food and what am I going to eat for lunch. But who cares? Freedom. Freedom, but for how long? Who knows? It'd be naive to think, you know, all the lockdowns are in the past. But you got you got to hope that they are. Otherwise, you know. I just hope I get a holiday this year. I haven't been on holiday in two years. But you might say, oh yeah, you've been locked down all the time. Might as well be a holiday, but being locked down is not a holiday. Being stuck with your own thoughts, not always good ones. <laughs> you know what I mean? Positive as I am, there's days. We all had days this year where we were like, forget all this, who cares? And then. It's a band, I think. It's music class, that's what it is. Right, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Might get windy, so you might not hear me. But yeah, I grew a double chin in lockdown, as you can see. And I go like this. I hate it, but it's part of me. And you gotta love yourself, you know. But yeah, if you didn't notice or realise, Jake Paul won another boxing match against, you know, an opponent they set up for him to beat, basically. But he's knocking them all down. He's knocked out a basketball player, a YouTuber, and now an MMA fighter. So. Now all he needs to do is knock out a newsreader or something. Snoop Dogg won two million quid betting on that fight. Not into YouTubers, then you probably don't care about that. I mean, I didn't really care. I got excited about the whole Logan Paul KSI thing. But this was like, it wasn't even on the zone. this one. It was on a thriller, this thriller or thriller, I don't know. Um, but it wasn't well, well that presented as a show. But yeah, Jake doesn't care, he got his fight got his millions. I mean he already had millions. I mean give someone else a chance. Have you heard anything I just said? Oh what is that? Or oh, is it Audi RS5? Or S5? It's an Audi anyway, who cares? Which way should I go? I'm going to do a 360 for you. So that way, or that way, or that way. 
or that way or that way. Yeah, I regret wearing all black now. You know, sometimes you've got to sacrifice your style for comfort. But I've done the opposite. But no, nah, I'm not one that gets proper hot. I'm immune to heat because it's that Mediterranean skin, that Italian blood. But I went and got burnt yesterday, I think. First sun of the year, really. This is brilliant though. Can't beat the simple pleasures. And I appreciate this more. Appreciate you for being here, for joining me. That is the weirdest thing I've ever said. God. I don't care how old I get, that's always fun. Speed, man. I haven't felt that in ages. Almost time to get back in my football chair. Speaking of which, we can get back to football. It's just organising training and social distancing and not having too many players in at once. But we're getting there. Um, whether I'm back to competitive football anytime soon, probably not. Training is a start though, if not, more days like this I can just come to places like this and train, grab a teammate, bail them up, say oi, time to kick some ball, well, don't do much kicking. So I'm going to head home, edit this vlog at some point, well, probably tomorrow now, get some food in me. Being Italian, I don't always, well, I never forget about food. You know, some people, oh, I forgot to eat today. What do you mean you forgot to eat? Like, in our culture, that's a sin. No, you can't forget to eat. If I go to my grandma's house, say, oh, I haven't eaten. You know, she'd be like, you didn't eat? Why you not eat? You got to eat. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Oh, the sun's coming back out. Get them rays. But yeah, I took my mask off because I'm in the park and you can hear me better. And I look a bit scary with these shades and those and that skeleton mask. Oh yeah, before I sign off, I'm getting my second vaccine soon. And yes, it is AstraZeneca. Um, I'll let you know if I get a blood clot, or if that story is, has any truth to it. It's like one in a thousand, or a hundred thousand. But yeah, you'll find out. God. Better than getting COVID, I'll tell you that. You know what I mean? Then, after getting that second dose, our mind might be at ease, but we'll see. Because it's still a risk. I'm not going to go forgetting the, the, the risk that's out there. We always live with that, and that's kind of... In some ways, I don't know, like, for the whole thing. And maybe this is wrong, like... I got a kick, like, going outdoors and stuff, and risking it, because you know you're risking it every time. At the beginning, it was like, yay, this is a zombie apocalypse. And then after a while, I was just like, no. I'm done with this, I want my life back. But yeah, vaccine two, coming up soon. I'll let you know if any of my limbs grow, or extra limbs, or any of them fall off, we'll see. Anyway, that's it.
stuff. But I learned, you know what I'm saying? I come back stronger. You know, I'm not talking to ignorant, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?